So with a, a married couple that do have children, like what if one spouse is comfortable with the child staying the night somewhere? Like let's say their cousin or auntie house or something, who they know really well, but the other spouse doesn't know that relative as well. So where does it come into play? Because it's not like the wife will put the kids in danger but the husband's just like, well, I mean, I don't know everybody. You know, so where does the balance? Do you just trust the spouse? Like, okay, well, I know that you wouldn't put the kids in danger. Or does it have to be both spouses have to know everybody for the kids to go? You know, like I'm assuming they like at the appropriate age sure. to be spending the night with somebody. Well, that's up to the household. I, I, I don't, I tend to not put up an entire law in every household because households run differently. And sometimes, uh, I don't have to know everything, but if I trust her enough, I trust her judgment, then that's okay, you know. But then, on the, on the same token, you can have some who like, if, if we're set up this way, we're not letting our kids go with some relative because that whatever, then we won't let them go, you know, if that's the case. It's just that I personally believe that when kids go over relative have to spend the night, I think they should be able to talk. I just, that's just me personally. I just think you should, the kids should be able to talk and you should explain to your kid if anybody touch you in this place, this place, this place. I don't well, care if uncle, grandma, yeah. grandpa, whoever. You should be able to say, grandma, mama, somebody touch me in this But you, but you know what, area. but now, now you're bringing up a point where if that kind of has to cross your mind, maybe you have some reservation about them going over to particular relatives' house. That, that, that might be and true. If, and if you but have if, those kind of reservations, but then no, it's, I just, yeah. no, I just personally believe a kid needs to talk. I mean, I don't care what it is. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I just want to be careful enough to know that my kid can tell me something. Okay, but like I said, because like I said, I don't want anybody to walk away like this is law. Because you can have a, a one-year-old who does not talk. But if, if, if you're comfortable with, an end of, with, with a certain relative, then that's not a, a thought to you. I know. You I, know. I, I just said me. I yeah, ain't said but you, them. But you understand what I'm saying? I just said me. I, I yeah. mean, ain't making nobody yeah. do nothing. I'm just yeah. telling me. Yeah. But, no, but I want to be clear of that because you do have some, some people who kid is, is just only one, a one and a half, and they don't talk. And they have some, they have some relatives, it, it could be in-laws, that they trust with their lives. But if you don't have that, now we all got some, some relatives, you ain't letting your kid whether they want a 12 going over <laughs> You know, they ain't just not going up. They can talk, run, jump, whatever, but you ain't going over Uncle Bobby's. <laughs> you know. So so that that just that just kinda depends. 